Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today I wanted to explain the great crude oil crisis that we are currently going through. If you guys aren't familiar with this, the price of crude oil fell from just over $21 today to nearly $6.50 a barrel. What this means is that a package of toilet paper is currently worth more than a barrel of crude oil. Now to put all of this as the icing on the cake, the previous May contract for, for crude oil futures fell to a negative number. Now, of course, on the chart, it stopped at zero, but as we'll see later on in the video, it fell to nearly to nearly negative $40 per contract, which is absolutely absurd considering it started the day off at nearly $20. So you guys are probably asking yourselves, why is this happening? Why is oil down? Why is it so cheap? And is it even worth trading anymore? And I'm going to be answering all those questions today and explaining just why I believe uh, this crude oil situation has gotten so bad. Now, let's start off because first things first, guys, at a certain point, we have to ask ourselves, how much does crude oil actually cost to produce? And at what point will the distributors and the creators of it say, uh, you know, enough is enough. This is no longer profitable for us. And we're going to start actually taking personal action to make sure that the price of crude oil starts heading back upwards here. Now, um, what I have here is as of 2019, it costs nearly 30 to $40, depending on what country you are, to produce a barrel of crude oil oil which means we are significantly under that now saudi arabia is the cheapest but it even costs them ten dollars a barrel to produce and they're the leading um producers in the world of it um in essence of cost management so if everyone is now being negative to produce crude oil eventually it's going to come to a point where people say enough is enough the producers and the manufacturers you know whether that be chevron or exxon whoever that may be they're going to say enough is enough we're going to start taking personal action to make sure that this is no longer the case now i believe that this is happening for a different reason that than really what's going on in the news there is people saying that this is uso's fault now if you guys don't know who uso is it stands for the united states oil fund it comes out of west texas um, and people were basically talking about why this is the reason why we are crashing. Now, I don't really believe this to be the case. And CNBC actually talks about how, uh, where is it? Um, it's important to note that USO is no longer in May's contract. USO's methodology uh, is to roll out their new contracts two weeks prior to the expiration, which means that USO is no longer operating on the May contract that went negative. Now, this is contrary to popular belief because many people believe that the entire reason this went down and that USO was going so low is because it was based off of the May's contract, which went $40, nearly $40 in the negative. That just simply isn't the case. They rolled over already to June and... Um, the real reason that I believe that crude oil is actually crashing here, if we move over to this last one, um, has nothing to do with this slide, but, um, excuse me, there we go. The, the real reason why this is actually crashing is because it's just one kind of crisis after another. Now, we started out with the coronavirus situation, and then we led into a trade war between Saudi Arabia and Russia, and now we're just running into a crisis where we, the we, and really the world in its entirety, continue to produce crude oil, as the crisis was going on. Now, during the crisis, guys, manufacturing was going down, distribution was going down, uh, you know, people using their cars was going down, airlines, even them, the, the use of airlines themselves and planes in general, they were all going down. A lot of the products that oil runs were no longer running. So we needed a significantly less amount of crude oil, but we continued producing it. So what happened is our stockpiles continued to, to fill up until we reached a point where we are now maxed out. We are maxed out, we can't hold any more crude oil, and the price of it's just simply going down because now it's like, okay, well, what do we do with this oil? Now we are over flooding, you know, unintentionally, might I add, we are flooding the market with too much crude oil. It's not because we're operating on such a, you know, more efficient way, it's just because everything is on lockdown or quarantine or whatever you might wanna say, we are just simply using less crude oil in the world that we live in today because of that we continually stockpile more up and thus and thus you know so long as we continue producing this which these oil companies want to do but they might have to slow down on um it's just going to keep getting worse and worse now there are two options to you know really that what can make this better really three now the first which president trump has already talked about is to start actually building new storage facilities and just mass buying crude oil that's one option is the government's just continually buy crude oil because they realize it's at a, such a cheap price and they're going to have to use this whether that's for the military or government agencies, whatever it may be, they realize that they're going to use crude oil in the future and they might as well stock up on it now while it's cheap. 
Now, the second alternative to this is that these oil companies can actually slow down their production, or excuse me, their production, and we can start seeing the supply trindle down, thus raising the demand and allowing our reserves to actually go out to where they need to be. Um, again, it's questionable as to whether they'll really do that. And the third option that I think is probably going to be the most viable, along with probably the government buying some back, is once this whole corona and quarantine, whatever you guys want to call it, whatever, whenever all of this is over and production and manufacturing and distribution all begin to go back to normal, you'll see the rise for oil and gasoline and all this stuff go back up. I mean, that's just how the world works. Once we start going back to a more normal work schedule around the world, you'll see the demand for crude oil start to go back up because that's what everything runs on. Now, I made a video talking about how I believe solar energy is going to be a big part in the future. Um, I've heard the rumor that the world is moving over to, to solely uh, solar energy from here on out, and this is the move. I don't think that's the case. A transition like that, while I do believe in solar energy, a transition like that across the world uh, would take so much materials and time and money it's something that you can't just make overnight i mean the majority of our world still machinery um, and, and automotive industry runs on crude oil and it's going to stay that way and it's not going to be any overnight or over month transition that will take decades if not centuries to to even accomplish so this is an article actually talking about the uh, oil futures going negative on tuesday and a bizarre collapse again and, and that's really what it is it is a bizarre collapse because I have never seen anything like this, especially not on something that's so uh, liquid, like the crude oil market. I believe it's the second most liquid market on the futures exchange, uh, second to ES. So with CL dropping more than 100%, turning negative for the first time in history on Monday, it went to nearly negative $37.63. Now, if that doesn't freak you out a little bit, <laughs> I don't know what will. Now, personally, I think that oil, for as long as I'm alive, or at least for the next 10, 20, 30 years, oil is going to have value. And so long as oil has value, it's going to go through cycles. I mean, we saw after the whole 2008 fiasco, oil went to nearly $120. USO, or crude oil went to nearly $120. USO went to nearly $120, and currently the price of USO is just over $3, and the price of crude oil was at $650, now it's currently trading at around $13. In my opinion, I'm willing to buy up uh, you know, portions of crude oil here. Now, I'm not dumping all of mine in. Again, I have been averaging down um, into crude oil since like, or into, excuse me, into United States uh, oil fund, which is USO, because I can't physically buy the crude oil barrels. I just don't have anywhere to put them where I live. Um, but I've been buying my way into USL under $5, just literally dollar cost averaging myself, you know, $100 at a time. I'll see it dump. I'll add another $100, um, you know, and just literally just accumulating for the past couple weeks as it's been making its move down. Now, as it's at $6.50, I don't see the crude oil industry going much below $6.50. I think that that could definitely be the bottom. Now, whether the futures contracts go negative again, you know, that's to be determined but you can see a lot of really crazy things happen out of this like sub one dollar gas now this depends on where you live in california it's obviously going to be a whole lot more expensive than if you live in like arkansas or north carolina or texas or something like that so take that into account but we're going to see a lot of craziness come out of this and i think that there are opportunity in the blood when blood's in the water that is kind of your time to reassess the market conditions and determine whether it's worth buying the dip now Again, I think oil will always be relevant so long as I'm alive, and thus I'm willing to actually take some stake here. And again, I know the risk and I understand the risk, but I'm willing to actually buy into the crude oil market here um, and see where it takes me. Now, I will probably be holding this for years to come, and I fully understand and, and I'm aware of that. But that pretty much wraps up the video today, guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the crude oil market because it has been absolutely insane to say the least. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.